Can I make money as a private tutor while teaching English abroad? Yes. Teaching English to private students is a very common practice for thousands of teachers who live and work abroad. For many, it offers a great way to earn extra income on top of a salary earned from working in a language school, while for others, it becomes a full-time job once they found enough clients. In certain situations, working as a private tutor is the most common form of income for foreign teachers. In some large European cities, where language schools tend to only hire teachers from within the European Union, you will find large numbers of American teachers working as private tutors due to the high demand for English language instruction. Whether it is your main income or just to top up your salary, working as a private English language tutor can be a perfect option for many TEFL certified teachers. How to start? Probably the most important step you can take is to become TEFL or TESOL certified before you start teaching. Completing an internationally accredited certification course will not only provide you with the skills and knowledge you need to plan and deliver successful lessons, but it will also provide you with a qualification that shows prospective clients that you are a serious teaching professional. When looking to attract your first clients, there are several things you can do to increase your appeal. Contacting other teachers that are already working in the local area is a simple yet highly effective way to getting the inside knowledge to help you get started. The next step is to advertise your services. The most common method of advertising is to post flyers on notice boards in areas frequented by students, such as universities and coffee shops. Having a few business cards at hand is also recommended, as you might meet potential clients at any time of the day or night. When advertising your services, it is also recommended that you have a local phone number that clients can use to contact you. Expecting clients to phone an international number is a guaranteed way to lose business. Another great way to attract students is to offer incentives in your advertising. Offering a free introductory lesson as well as discounts for purchasing multiple sessions are both tried and tested methods for getting customers through the door. Giving free lessons or discounts to clients who refer new students is also an effective strategy for increasing your client list. By utilizing these common methods for attracting clients, you should find that working as an independent English language tutor is a viable option whether full or part-time. How much can I earn teaching English abroad? In recent years, teaching English abroad has become a popular and profitable job for many native English speakers around the world. This is largely due to the rapid increase in demand for the English language in many countries, leading to teaching salaries becoming more and more competitive. When looking for a teaching job, it is always advisable to weigh up the salary on offer in comparison with the local cost of living, as this can vary considerably from one country to the next. A monthly salary of 1,000 US dollars in Bolivia would allow you to live a very comfortable lifestyle, while the same salary in a city such as Barcelona would probably not be enough to provide all the comforts you had hoped for. Other benefits included in the contract are also worth noting, as free housing, health insurance, paid vacations, and reimbursement of airfares can all add up to an attractive overall package. Let's take a look at the most popular regions for English language teachers around the world. Asia has long been one of the most popular regions due to a combination of good salaries, a low cost of living, and a wide variety of fascinating cultures to explore. Traditional hotspots such as South Korea and Taiwan continue to be popular as the average salary is generally very high at around 2000 to 2500 US dollars 
for new teachers and up to three thousand U.S. dollars for those with experience. China's huge demand for teachers means it's also very popular, particularly with new teachers who can expect to earn between one thousand and two thousand U.S. dollars per month in their first year, and up to three thousand U.S. dollars with experience. These countries all offer a great opportunity to save considerable sums of money during your stay. One star in Asia that has faded in recent years is Japan, a country that was once the most popular in the region. Although still worth checking out, Japan's increasing costs and stagnated salaries means it is no longer the best destination for saving while you work. Alternatively, Southeast Asia is a very popular region, as it is seen to provide a more adventurous and exotic experience compared to the more developed countries to the north. Thailand and Vietnam have the most numerous opportunities, with salaries of up to one thousand five hundred dollars per month and a relatively low cost of living. If making money is your top priority, then this is the region to head for. Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates offer some of the highest salaries to be found anywhere in the world. Here, you can expect to earn between three thousand and five thousand U.S. dollars per month, including benefits such as paid housing, health insurance, and round-trip flights home. If that is not enough, also consider that these are tax-free countries, so what you earn is what you keep. Having said all that, this may not be the right destination for everyone. Competition for jobs is very high, so you probably need a few years teaching experience before you can expect to be hired. The conservative nature of society in this region also deters many teachers from coming here. Female teachers, in particular, may find the strict social norms hard to deal with in the long term. Other countries in this region worth looking at include Oman, Kuwait, Qatar, and Bahrain. Europe is the automatic first choice for many people setting out to teach English abroad. However, from a financial standpoint, it may not be the best option, as the cost of living is generally quite high and salaries are often similar to those offered in far cheaper destinations such as South Korea or China. If you want to save while you teach, this probably isn't the right choice for you. However, if you are one of the thousands of people who dream of living and working in this fascinating region, there are plenty of places to choose from. Central and Eastern Europe is often a good choice, as costs are considerably lower than in the West. The Czech Republic is one of the most sought-after destinations, thanks to a healthy job market. And a long and fascinating history. Other popular countries, due to lifestyle rather than financial gain, include Spain, Italy, and France. As with Europe, Latin American countries naturally attract many teachers due to the exotic culture and lifestyle they can provide. Unfortunately, it is one of the toughest regions in which to earn a good salary. However, if you are keen to travel this region and explore its varied attractions, there are plenty of countries where you can earn enough to get by. Chile is often regarded as one of the best options in the region, whilst other popular destinations include Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica, and Ecuador. If you find that your salary is not quite enough to live as you would like. Private tutoring is often in high demand and provides a great opportunity for English teachers to earn an additional income. How much can I earn teaching English in Argentina? Due to the economic instability in recent years, it can be difficult for ESL teachers to earn a good living in Argentina. However, it is still a popular destination for teaching English abroad. Average monthly salaries range from six hundred to one thousand two hundred U.S. dollars, depending on qualifications, experience, and hours worked. Argentina is one of the most popular destinations in South America for both international tourists and those looking to teach English abroad. Teachers are drawn to the country from all over the world by the promise of a stunning natural landscape, a unique European-influenced culture, and a relaxed way of life. There is a strong demand for foreign teachers throughout the country, although the largest market is located in the capital, Buenos Aires. 
Significant markets for ESL teachers can also be found in other major cities such as Córdoba, Rosario, Mendoza and the beach resort of Mar del Plata. Salary Although Argentina is a very popular destination for foreign teachers, few come here expecting to earn or save a large sum of money. Salaries are low in comparison to many other popular countries around the world. However, it is still possible to earn enough to live comfortably if you are patient and willing to work hard to establish yourself. Average monthly salaries range from 600 to 1200 US dollars depending on qualifications and experience. Private tutoring of individual students or within local businesses is also a popular option for earning extra income, with hourly rates ranging from 10 to 15 dollars. It is highly recommended that you complete a TEFL or TESOL certification course before heading to Argentina, as it will greatly increase your employability and earning potential. Employers Due to government restrictions on employing foreign citizens, it is difficult for ESL teachers to find work in public schools in Argentina. Because of this, the main employers are private language schools who cater to a wide range of students, from young children to executives within a business environment. Teaching within local businesses is particularly popular, with teachers expected to provide group or individual classes that focus on fluency in specific environments, such as interviews, conference calls, presentations and business meetings. The number of contracted hours in this environment varies greatly, but it is common for teachers to be on call from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Friday. The other big market for foreign teachers in Argentina is to work on a freelance basis. Many teachers take on individual students in their spare time to top up the salary earned from working in a language center. It is also common for teachers to freelance full-time once they have found enough students. The big advantage of freelance work is you can set your own working hours and hourly rate. However, it is recommended that you agree a cancellation policy in advance as it is common for lessons to be cancelled at the last minute, leaving the teacher out of pocket. Cost of living Although salaries for ESL teachers are relatively low in Argentina, the cost of living is also quite low. Public transport, utility bills and groceries are generally affordable on an average salary. However, accommodation can be very expensive particularly in the trendy districts of Buenos Aires, such as Palermo, San Telmo, and Recoleta. Outside of the capital, rental costs fall dramatically, but if you are keen to live and work here, then you should consider districts such as Montserrat, Bagrano, or Almagro, which are all safe areas with more affordable accommodation. Realistically, most teachers choose to rent a room from a local family, or share an apartment with other foreign teachers to help with the expense. How much can I earn teaching English in Cambodia? Although less well known as a teaching destination than some other countries in Asia, Cambodia has a fast growing demand for English language teachers that looks set to continue for many years. Salaries are modest in comparison with China, South Korea and Japan. However, a low cost of living means it is possible to live comfortably on a teacher's pay. Salaries vary, but an inexperienced teacher can reasonably expect to earn around 1000 to 1200 US dollars per month. In recent years, Cambodia has emerged as a popular destination for teaching English abroad. The capital, Phnom Penh, has plenty of great opportunities year-round while other cities, including Siem Reap, Barambang, and Chianukville, also offer a significant number of teaching positions. A major attraction for some teachers is that unlike many other countries in the region, there is no requirement to possess a four-year degree. Whether you are a newly qualified TEFL graduate looking to gain classroom experience, or an experienced teacher looking to get off the beaten track, Cambodia is well worth considering. Salary The figure you can expect to earn while teaching English in Cambodia will vary depending on your previous classroom experience and the type of employer. As a rough guide, a teacher with no previous experience should be able to earn around 1000 to 1200 US dollars per month or receive an hourly rate of 10 to 12 dollars. 
Most positions do not include any extra benefits such as airfares, housing, health insurance, or paid holidays. However, experienced teachers who land a job in an international school can expect a significantly higher salary and a full range of benefits. Employers Although government-run public schools do not normally employ foreign workers, there are a significant number of privately-run schools that do look to employ English language teachers. These are mainly located in large cities and include primary, middle and high schools. Typical working hours are 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Another major employer of foreign teachers in Cambodia is the large number of private language academies that are spread throughout the country. These offer after-school English lessons to children of all ages, as well as adults looking to study in their free time. Working hours are typically from 5 p.m. onwards and may include weekends. A small number of jobs can sometimes be found advertised across various online job boards. However, the majority of employers in Cambodia prefer to hire teachers who are already in the country. This approach means you can meet the employer and negotiate your salary before committing to the post. Cost of living While the average teacher's salary is low by Western standards, so is the local cost of living. A comfortable apartment typically costs in the region of 200 to 300 US dollars per month, with around 70 US dollars required to cover utility bills. Eating out and other entertainment is also very inexpensive by international standards. The low cost of living means that most teachers are able to live a comfortable lifestyle whilst living and working in Cambodia. How much can I earn teaching English in Chile? Chile is one of the most stable and prosperous countries in Latin America, making it a popular destination for teaching English abroad. Teachers are unlikely to save a large amount, but the average salary of 800 to 1200 US dollars per month should be enough to live a comfortable lifestyle. Chile has long been one of the most popular countries in Latin America for teaching English abroad. The capital city of Santiago has a thriving demand for ESL teachers year-round and is subsequently the most popular location for foreign teachers. If you prefer to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city, you will also find a smaller number of options in other towns and cities across the country. Although not an official requirement in Chile, it is recommended that you complete a Tefler TESOL certification of at least 120 hours duration before looking for work, as it will increase your job prospects significantly. Salary there are many things to consider when calculating your expected salary for teaching English in Chile, such as your level of experience, qualifications, location, type of employer, and number of working hours. However, an average monthly salary is likely to be between 550,000 and 800,000 Chilean pesos, 800 and 1,200 US dollars. Teachers with extensive experience and or qualifications should find they can earn substantially more than the average stated. If you choose to take on private students in your spare time, you are free to charge any figure you like. But the average rate is around 8,000 to 10,000 Chilean pesos, 12 to 15 dollars per hour. Employers. The majority of foreign ESL teachers in Chile are employed by private language institutes, which can be found in most towns and cities throughout the country. Teaching jobs in language institutes generally fall into two categories, either teaching classes within the school or traveling to teach in the offices of business clients. Teaching off-site can involve extensive travel between lessons, and you are unlikely to be compensated for your time or expenses. However, it can be a great way to gain the experience necessary to apply for better positions in the future. Teaching on-site reduces the need for travel time and expenses, but you should be prepared to work unsocial hours as most classes run in the evenings up to around 10 p.m. Teachers with a university degree and previous classroom experience can also apply for positions in local universities. Starting salaries are generally much the same as private institutes, but the standard working hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday are a draw for many teachers. 
University positions also offered a chance for long-term prospects for those looking to make a career out of teaching. Another popular option is to recruit individual students for private tuition outside of your normal working hours. This is common practice for earning additional income and can also lead to full-time freelance work once you have built up a significant client base. Cost of living. Although the general cost of living in Chile is lower than in North America and Western Europe, it is certainly not as cheap as some other countries in the region, such as Bolivia, Peru or Ecuador. Public transport is generally inexpensive, and the cost of basic groceries can be significantly reduced by favoring fresh food markets over supermarkets. Accommodation is usually the biggest expense, with a one-bedroom apartment in a good location starting at around 500 US dollars per month. To reduce costs, many new arrivals choose to rent a furnished room in a shared apartment, which can be found from around 300 US dollars per month. sign that is going to slow down anytime soon. With a rapidly growing economy and upwards of 300 million students studying English, China offers countless opportunities for foreign teachers to earn a good salary and to save a considerable amount into the bargain. Throughout the country there are a large variety of jobs available with a wide range of salaries. However, first-time teachers can reasonably expect to earn between 6,000 RMB and 12,000 RMB per month, which equates to around 1,000 to 2,000 US dollars. On top of the basic salary, it is also common for teachers to receive free housing or a housing allowance, as well as paid airfare in and out of the country. These added extras, plus a cost of living that averages around half of that in the USA, means many teachers are able to save substantial sums of money during the length of their contract. Depending on lifestyle, an ESL teacher in China should be able to save anything from 500 to 1,500 US dollars per month. Recruitment tips. In the past, Simply being a native English speaker was sometimes all you needed to get a teaching job in China. Today, you will need to possess an internationally recognized TEFL certificate if you want to have access to the widest range of jobs, especially those that pay the best salaries. Across the country, standards have been substantially raised in recent years, leading to many provinces now requiring teachers to have completed a TEFL course of 120 hours or more. For those without a college degree, this is already mandatory and it is likely to be extended nationwide at some point in the future. When looking for work in China, it is recommended that you do as much research as possible before committing to a position. Demand for teachers is so high that you are generally guaranteed a choice of positions if you apply for multiple jobs. Research on individual schools and the cities and regions you plan to work in should help you to narrow down your options and to make the right choice to suit your plans. If you are a native English speaker with a college degree and a TEFL certification, the world really is your oyster when it comes to teaching English in China. Once employed and living in the country, many teachers take advantage of the high demand for private language tuition that allows them to substantially top up their monthly income. It is common practice amongst the growing middle classes in China to provide extra English study for their children outside of school hours. It is not uncommon for teachers to effectively double their earnings by providing private lessons for these students in their free time. The beautiful tropical paradise of Costa Rica is one of the most popular destinations in Latin America for teaching English abroad. Although you are unlikely to save a great deal during your stay, the average monthly salary of 600 to 1000 US dollars should be enough to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle. Known throughout the world as a prime destination for ecotourism, Costa Rica is also one of the top locations in the region for ESL teaching. Across the country, there are always plenty of opportunities for teachers, whether you have years of experience or are looking for your first teaching role. One of the main attractions for many teachers is that a university degree is often not a requirement when looking for work. Teaching positions can be found in most parts of the country. However, 
the vast majority are located in the Central Valley area, and in particular, the capital San Jose. Salary As is the case in much of Latin America, teachers generally don't come to Costa Rica purely to make money. The average salary is considerably less than you will find in other more lucrative regions, such as Asia and the Middle East, at around 600 to 1,000 US dollars per month. Your earning potential will increase considerably if you have a degree, a TEFL certification, or a few years' experience in the classroom. To top up their basic salary, many teachers also provide private tutoring on the side, which can earn around 10 to 20 US dollars per hour or even more. Employers The vast majority of foreign teachers in Costa Rica are employed by some form of private language school. Throughout the country, you will find a large number of schools aimed at all ages of students, from primary through to adults. Many of the bigger schools offer full-time contracts that involve between 20 and 25 classroom hours per week, while smaller establishments tend to offer various part-time contracts. It is common practice in Costa Rica for teachers to have contracts with a few different schools to make up a full-time salary. Classes are generally held during the early morning and evening, with weekend work also common. Private tutoring in homes or offices is also a very common form of income in Costa Rica. Some teachers are able to find enough clients to turn this into a relatively lucrative full-time business, although for most it is simply a good way of topping up their monthly salary. The majority of students looking for tuition are school children preparing for exams. However, there are also many businesses willing to pay good money for professionally delivered lessons specific to their individual requirements. Cost of living As Costa Rica is a popular international tourist destination, it has a higher cost of living than many other parts of Central America. If you dream of living and working in a tropical beach resort, you will also need to be prepared for the higher costs associated with these areas. Accommodation is generally the largest outlay, with prices ranging from 200 to 350 US dollars per month, including meals for a homestay with a local family. A room in an apartment shared with other foreign teachers should be similarly priced, while rent for a private house or apartment starts at around 400 US dollars per month in areas away from the city center. How much can I earn teaching English in Ecuador? Ecuador has seen a significant increase in demand for ESL teachers in recent years. Pay rates may be as low as 5 US dollars per hour, but with a very low cost of living, an average monthly salary of 500 to 1000 US dollars should be enough to live comfortably. When it comes to teaching English in Latin America, countries such as Chile, Costa Rica and Mexico tend to get the most coverage. However, there are several other countries in the region that have seen a significant growth in demand for foreign teachers in recent years, including Ecuador. Boasting a wide range of fascinating environments to explore, from the Andean mountains to the Amazon rainforest, Ecuador is a truly unique destination for teaching English abroad. Teaching positions can be found in abundance in big cities such as Quito, Guayaquil and Cuenca, as well as in smaller numbers in other towns and cities across the country. Salary. As is the case in much of Latin America, salaries for foreign teachers in Ecuador are quite low in comparison to many other parts of the world. However, the very low cost of living means that even a modest salary will go a long way. The actual figure you can expect to earn will vary considerably depending on your qualifications and experience. But the average is around 500 to 1000 US dollars per month. Teachers with extensive qualifications and experience can earn considerably more than the average by working in international schools or universities. Rates for private tutoring range from 10 to 15 US dollars per hour. Employers. For the majority of teachers, the most likely source of employment is private language schools that can be found in most parts of the country. Private schools often hire teachers with no qualifications or previous experience. However, a degree and a TEFL qualification will significantly enhance your earning potential. Actual teaching hours vary from school to school, but on average you can expect to spend around 20 to 25 hours per week in the classroom. Language schools in Ecuador rarely include any extra benefits, such as housing allowance or paid holiday. 
Teachers with plenty of experience and qualifications might also be able to apply for positions in universities and international schools, which offer significantly better salaries than private language schools. As these jobs are small in number and often include extra benefits, such as paid accommodation and airfares, competition is generally very strong. Cost of living. Although the average wage for an ESL teacher in Ecuador is relatively low, it is offset considerably by a low cost of living throughout the country. Utility bills, public transport and groceries are all generally much cheaper than more westernized countries. Eating out can also be very inexpensive, as delicious local food can be found for as little as 2 to 3 US dollars a meal. Accommodation is most likely to be the biggest expense. However, rental costs are also much more affordable than many other countries in the region. Good quality apartments range from 100 to 400 US dollars per month, depending on size and location. If you prefer to mix with other travelers, you might prefer to stay in a long-term hostel where rooms can be found for around 6 to 12 US dollars per night. How much can I earn teaching English in France? France receives more visitors per year than any other country, so it is no surprise that it is a popular destination for teaching English abroad. Depending on the location and the employer, the average salary for ESL teachers ranges from 1,000 to 2,000 euros per month. Every year, over 80 million people visit France, making it the most popular tourist destination in the world. ESL teachers also flock here in large numbers due to the country's wide array of attractions from culture, history and art to fine cuisine and beautiful scenery. Demand for teachers is high in many parts of the country, although competition for the best positions is particularly strong in the most popular destinations such as Paris and the French Riviera. Teachers with plenty of experience will certainly have an advantage in these areas while well, first-time teachers may need to be more flexible when it comes to location. Salary. The figure you can expect to earn as an ESL teacher in France will vary considerably depending on your qualifications and experience, the location, and the type of employer. For most teachers, a figure between 1,000 and 2,000 euros per month would be typical. Many teachers, especially those at the lower end of the pay scale, supplement their income by taking on private students in their spare time. Rates for private tutoring range from 15 to 25 euros per hour. Teaching contracts in France rarely include any additional benefits, such as airfares and accommodation, but you should receive health insurance and some paid holiday. Employers. The best salaries are often found in public schools and universities. However, these positions usually require high levels of qualifications and experience, as well as fluency in French. The most popular option for teachers who don't meet these criteria is to apply to private language schools that can be found in large numbers right across the country. Paris alone has over 500 language schools catering to a wide range of students of all ages. The average salary may be less than other employers, but private language schools offer a good opportunity for new teachers to gain experience in the classroom. Private tutoring is also a very popular option for foreign teachers in France. Many teachers use it as a means to supplement their income, while others build it into a full-time occupation. Finding enough clients can take time, but the flexible working hours that this option provides is ideal for some teachers. Clients can be found via advertising in local newspapers and magazines, by posting on bulletin boards in schools and universities, or by simple word of mouth. Other options that are worth considering include summer English camps, which often pay well and offer short-term contracts, and teaching business English to employees of private companies. American passport holders can also apply for a placement on the government-run Teaching Assistant Program in France, TAPIF. As long-term visas are often difficult to secure for non-EU citizens, this program offers a great way for recent college graduates to live and work in France. If accepted on the program, you will receive a stipend of 790 euros per month. Cost of living. Your monthly expenses in France will vary greatly depending on your lifestyle and your chosen location, although for most teachers a figure between 600 and 1000 euros would be typical. The cost of living in Paris is considerably higher than most other areas, so you will need to seriously consider your budget 
if you have your heart set on living in the capital. Housing costs are the single biggest expense for most teachers, with rents and utilities averaging around 600 to 800 euros per month for a one-bedroom apartment away from the most popular areas. To help reduce these costs, many teachers choose to rent a room from a local family or share an apartment with fellow teachers. How much can I earn teaching English in Greece? Due to the ongoing effects of the 2008 financial crisis, Greece is no longer the hotspot for teaching English abroad that it once was. However, it still has plenty to offer ESL teachers, including an average salary of 800 to 1,000 euros per month, depending on experience. Until recent years, Greece was one of the most popular destinations in Europe for teaching English abroad. Unfortunately, the global financial crisis of 2008 has led to a downturn in almost every sector of the economy, including ESL teaching. Despite these setbacks, Greece still attracts a large number of foreign teachers every year due to the warm Mediterranean climate, countless stunning beaches and islands, and a relaxed approach to life. Athens is home to the biggest job market for teachers, while other cities such as Thessaloniki, Larissa, Heraklion and Corfu are also popular. Salary Although ESL teaching jobs are still relatively easy to come by, the salaries on offer have not risen substantially since the start of the financial crisis. However, the average salary for a first-time teacher of around 800 to 1000 euros per month should still be enough to cover all the basic expenses. Teachers with experience may find they can earn significantly more than the average sum. It is also common practice for teachers to increase their income by providing private tutoring in their free time. Hourly rates for private lessons range from 10 to 20 euros. Employers The vast majority of foreign ESL teachers in Greece are employed by private language schools known as frontisteria. You will find over 6,000 private language schools across the country catering to children of all ages, as well as a smaller number who handle business clients. As private schools are generally aimed at school children who come to improve their English skills outside of normal school hours, most positions involve teaching during the late afternoon and evening. The number of hours you can expect to spend in the classroom varies from one contract to the next, but it is typically between 20 and 30 hours per week. It is rare for contracts to include financial help with airfares, but housing support and paid holidays are often included. Private language schools generally hire teachers at any time of the year, although the peak hiring seasons are from August to October and throughout January. A degree in any subject is usually required, and a TEFL or TESOL certificate will also be a big advantage. It is worth noting that due to the extensive bureaucracy involved in obtaining work permits for foreign citizens in Greece, teachers with an EU passport are generally preferred by most employers. Cost of living Despite the economic downturn, Greece is still a relatively inexpensive place to live in comparison to much of Western Europe and North America. Housing costs are typically the biggest expense for most teachers working overseas, and while that is still the case in Greece, Rental prices have actually dropped significantly in recent years. Utilities are another big expense, so many teachers choose to house share to reduce their overall outgoings. Imported goods, including food items, are generally expensive, but if you do your shopping at local fresh food markets, you should find much lower prices than in supermarkets. In general, the cost of living is considerably less on mainland Greece than it is on most of the islands that surround it. How much can I earn teaching English in Italy? Due to its popular culture, beautiful landscape and delicious cuisine, Italy is probably the most popular destination in Europe for teaching English abroad. While you are unlikely to get rich during your stay, the average salary of 1000 to 1500 euros per month should be enough to live comfortably. Italy is traditionally one of the most popular locations in Europe for teaching English abroad as there are always plenty of jobs available across the country. Every year thousands of foreign teachers are drawn here by a fabulous mix of culture, cuisine, art, history and fashion. However, due to its popularity, competition for jobs can be quite fierce, particularly in the most sought-after locations such as Florence and Venice. 
teachers with qualifications and plenty of experience are likely to have the pick of the jobs in these areas, while those with little or no experience might find more options in one of the big cities like Rome or Milan. The typical salary for ESL teachers in Italy varies considerably depending on the employer and the location, but you can reasonably expect to earn in the region of 1,000 to 1,500 euros per month. In general, salaries in the northern cities, such as Rome and Milan, pay the most, while you may earn less in the south of the country. However, as the cost of living can often be significantly less in the south, the lower income is often not an issue. TEFL qualified teachers with plenty of experience have a good chance of earning the higher end of the scale or even more, while those without a TEFL certification are likely to earn substantially less. It is also common practice for teachers to supplement their income by teaching private students in their free time. Rates for private tutoring range from 15 to 30 euros per hour. Employers. Teaching jobs in state schools are very popular with foreign teachers in Italy, as they tend to pay well and require fewer working hours than other employers. However, these positions are not widely available and are only open to teachers who have a high level of Italian language skills. For most teachers, a more realistic option for employment is the network of private language academies that can be found all over the country. The majority of private language schools in Italy expect their teachers to possess a TEFL certification, although some do prefer to train new teachers using their own system. A typical working week involves between 20 and 28 classroom hours, with evening, weekend and split shift work all commonplace. Pay rates are generally by the hour and can often be quite low in comparison to other employers. But the availability of jobs in this sector is widespread. Private tutoring is also a very popular option in Italy, particularly in university towns and cities. This option allows a great deal of flexibility as you are able to set your own hours and pay rate. By advertising in local newspapers and posting flyers in student areas, Many teachers soon find they have as many clients as they can handle. Also, private students generally pay cash in hand, which teachers often choose not to declare to the tax office. Other employment options for foreign teachers in Italy include English summer camps, which offer short-term contracts during the summer months, teaching business-related English in the corporate world, and assistant posts in university English language departments. These options are relatively small in number, but tend to pay a good salary. Cost of living. As the cost of living is relatively high in Italy, you are unlikely to save a great deal of your salary during your stay. However, if you have a full-time teaching position and are able to teach private lessons in your spare time, you should have enough income to live a comfortable lifestyle. Accommodation is rarely included in a teaching contract, so this is likely to be your biggest expense. In smaller towns and cities, it should be possible to rent a studio apartment for around 400 euros per month. While in Milan or Rome, this figure is likely to be double or more. One popular option that can considerably reduce your expenses is to share an apartment either with other teachers or local residents. As more traditional destinations for teaching English abroad, and still one of the most lucrative. With a unique and exotic culture built on hundreds of years of isolation, this fascinating country draws teachers from all over the world. Wherever you come from, you will enjoy a warm welcome, a high salary and plenty of adventure during your stay. Depending on experience and qualifications, you can expect to earn between 2,000 and 6,000 US dollars per month teaching English as a foreign language in Japan. Foreign teachers have been living and working in large numbers across Japan for decades. However, a significantly increased cost of living in recent years has led to a reduction in the amount that teachers are typically able to save from their salary every month. Having said that, there are still plenty of great opportunities across the country that offer attractive salaries and other benefits particularly in cities such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Yokohama. Although it is no longer the top destination for saving large amounts of money, 
Japan still has plenty to offer both new and experienced teachers. Salary As with any destination, the salaries on offer vary considerably depending on experience, qualifications, location, and type of employment. As a guide, you should expect to earn somewhere between 200,000 and 600,000 yen, currently 2,000 to 6,000 US dollars per month. If the job pays by the hour, then a figure of around 2,500 yen, 25 US dollars per hour would be typical. In addition to a basic salary, most positions will also include added benefits such as paid airfares, housing, health insurance, and a contract completion bonus. Employers Private language academies, known as Eikaiwas, employ a large number of foreign teachers throughout Japan. Classes cater to children looking for extra study after school, as well as adults who want to learn English in their free time. Working hours are generally in the afternoon and evenings, while weekend work may also be expected. Class sizes tend to be small, averaging around 10 to 15 students. A typical salary is around 250,000 yen, 2,500 US dollars per month, with benefits including flights and accommodation possible but not certain. Public schools also hire a considerable number of foreign teachers, either directly or through government-sponsored programs. Although there are other smaller programs, the JET program is the largest in the country, hiring around 2,000 teachers per year. Salaries start at 280,000 yen, $2,750 per month, with a yearly increase if you decide to stay on after the initial contract is completed. Contracts also include paid flights, accommodation, health insurance and around 4 weeks paid holiday. You can expect similar benefits when employed directly by a school, although the salary is likely to be a little lower at between 200,000 and 250,000 yen, 2,000 to 2,500 US dollars per month. The best salaries for English teachers in Japan can be found at universities and international schools. Either option should pay in the region of 300,000 to 600,000 yen, 3 to 6,000 US dollars per month depending on experience. To be eligible for these positions, you would generally be expected to hold a high-level teaching qualification and have several years of classroom experience. Competition for university jobs is particularly strong, as they also offer relatively low working hours and up to three months vacation per year. Cost of living As mentioned, the cost of living in Japan has increased considerably in recent years, leading to reduced monthly savings for many English language teachers. One popular option for teachers looking to top up their earnings is to take on private students in their spare time. A typical charge of around 3,000 yen, 30 US dollars per hour, can go a long way to making you stay in Japan even more comfortable. more available positions for ESL teachers than any other country in Europe. While most teachers find it difficult to save a great deal, the average salary of 600 to 1000 US dollars per month should be enough to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle. Poland has a huge demand for ESL teachers in many parts of the country, making it an ideal destination for first-time teachers looking to gain valuable classroom experience. As Poland is a member of the EU, it is very easy for other EU nationals to simply turn up in their city of choice and quickly find work, as there are no visa restrictions. While it is not impossible for non-EU citizens to acquire a work permit from within the country, it is often more convenient to secure a position via an online job site and then apply for the appropriate visa from a Polish consulate within your own country. Jobs can be found in almost every part of the country. However, major cities such as Warsaw, Krakow, Lodz, and Wroclaw offer the most numerous options. Salary Although teaching jobs are plentiful across Poland, average salaries are not as high as you will find in many Western European countries. However, the average monthly income of 600 to 1000 US dollars is considerably more than the average local wage, 
and has generally enough to live comfortably on. Teachers who find they need extra cash to fuel a busy social life, to pay off student loans, or for further travel, commonly take on private students in their spare time. Hourly rates for private tutoring range from 10 to 20 US dollars depending on experience and location. Employers The most common employers of foreign ESL teachers in Poland are private language schools that can be found in all major towns and cities. The vast majority of employers will expect their teachers to hold a degree in any subject and the addition of a TEFL certification will allow you to apply for jobs with higher salaries and better working conditions. Some employers will help you out when it comes to applying for a work permit and many will also help with finding accommodation. The number of hours of actual teaching varies from school to school, but on average teachers spend between 20 and 30 hours per week in the classroom. Cost of living. The cost of living in Poland varies depending on your location and lifestyle. However, most teachers should find they can live comfortably on their income. In comparison to much of Europe, basic costs such as groceries, public transport and utility bills are relatively cheap. One area where costs have risen in recent years is accommodation. While it is possible to rent a one-bedroom apartment away from the city center for around $300 per month, many teachers choose to reduce their costs by renting a room in an apartment shared with friends or colleagues. Apartment sharing is particularly common in Warsaw, where rents tend to be considerably higher than other areas. How much can I earn teaching English in Russia? In recent years, demand for the English language in Russia has grown considerably and it is becoming an increasingly popular destination for teaching English abroad. Foreign teachers can expect to earn anywhere from $500 to $2,000 US dollars per month, depending on location, qualifications and experience. Although most Russians study English during their senior school years, the level of instruction is often poor. Because of this, many people look to improve their language skills once they join the workforce as a way of moving up the employment ladder. An increasing number of parents also recognize the importance of English language skills in modern-day Russia. As a result, there is a huge demand for English language teachers across all age ranges in many parts of the country. Moscow and St. Petersburg offer the most numerous positions, but there are also plenty of other towns and cities to consider if you want to stay off the beaten track. Salary. The monthly income of foreign teachers in Russia varies hugely depending on many different factors, such as location, qualifications, experience, and number of contracted hours. Private language schools generally pay an hourly rate, which averages around 650 US dollars per month for a first-time teacher. This figure can rise substantially with relevant experience. Many positions also include accommodation or a housing subsidy, which can be a real benefit in the big cities where rental properties are often in short supply and prohibitively expensive. Full or partial airfare reimbursement is sometimes provided when jobs are secured from outside the country. Teachers who offer private tutoring either part or full time traditionally have the highest earning potential in Russia. General conversation practice is typically charged at 15 to 25 dollars per hour while business English or exam preparation can bring in between $35 and $50 per hour. Employers The biggest employers of foreign teachers in Russia are private language schools, which can be found in all the major cities. These cater to adults and children of all ages and are a good starting point for first-time teachers and those who are new to living and working in Russia. Moscow, in particular, has a large number of schools both international and locally run all of which offer contract-based and casual positions. A typical full-time position involves around 30 hours per week in the classroom. Teachers who have experience and qualifications can also apply for jobs in universities, colleges and international schools. These environments offer substantially better salaries than language schools, but jobs are small in number and competition can be very strong. Another option for qualified teachers is the business English sector. This growing market generally involves traveling to the client's office to provide lessons that are specific to their individual needs. Lessons are often delivered before or after the normal day's work, so the hours can be a little erratic. However, 
Salaries are typically good in this field. Regardless of the type of employer, the majority of ESL teachers in Russia also top up their salary by offering private tutoring in their free time. Word of mouth is the most common way of finding suitable clients and once they have as many as they can handle, many teachers decide to go full-time. Private tutoring offers great flexibility as you can set your own schedule. It also provides plenty of opportunity for meeting local people and making friends and contacts in the wider community. Cost of living. Although the cost of living has risen significantly in recent years, Russia is still a very affordable place to live for foreign teachers outside of the major cities. In Moscow and St. Petersburg, everyday expenses are also relatively low, with the notable exception of housing. Good quality rental apartments are often in short supply in the most popular areas, so rental fees continue to rise year on year. The ideal solution is to secure a teaching position that includes accommodation or a housing subsidy in the contract. Failing that, many people without housing benefit choose to share an apartment with fellow teachers. How much can I earn teaching English in Saudi Arabia? In recent years, the Middle East has become the place to be if you want to make serious money teaching English abroad. Saudi Arabia has one of the biggest markets for foreign teachers in the region, with positions offering high salaries and generous benefit packages available in all the main cities. The majority of positions require qualifications and a considerable amount of classroom experience. But for those who meet the criteria, salaries ranging from 3,000 to 5,000 US dollars per month are common. For some teachers, Saudi Arabia offers the ideal location for teaching English abroad as salaries and benefit packages are as good as you will find anywhere in the world. Demand for qualified and experienced teachers is strong in cities such as Riyadh and Jeddah, where universities, colleges, international schools and private language academies offer a variety of teaching positions. While Saudi Arabia is one of the most attractive teaching destinations in terms of income, it is important to be aware of the cultural situation before you decide to head there. The country's conservative laws and traditions mean it is not an ideal destination for some teachers. Alcohol is forbidden and interaction between unmarried couples is not permitted, including between foreigners. Female teachers can find it particularly challenging as they are further restricted by issues such as clothing customs and a ban on driving alone. Salary Potential earnings for English language teachers in Saudi Arabia are amongst the highest to be found anywhere in the world. Salaries start at around $2,500 US dollars per month and can rise to $4,000 and beyond depending on qualifications and experience. In addition to a generous salary, most positions will also include an equally generous benefit package that includes paid airfares, paid accommodation, and a bonus on completion of the contract. If all that is not enough, it is also worth mentioning that salaries are typically tax-free. Employers As English is rapidly growing in importance in Saudi Arabia, there are a large number of private and public-run language academies throughout the country. Salaries typically range from 12,000 to 15,000 SAR, currently 3,200 to 4,000 US dollars per month. An average week would include 25 to 30 classroom hours with extensive lesson planning on top. Although not essential, a good understanding of Arabic is a real advantage in this area. Privately run international schools are another potential employer for teachers who can meet the relatively stringent criteria. Most positions will require a teaching qualification from your home country, as well as a minimum of two years classroom experience. Salaries typically range from 10,000 to 15,000 SAR, 2,600 to 4,000 US dollars, with working hours of 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., Saturday to Wednesday. Contracts are generally for one or two years. As virtually all university students in Saudi Arabia are required to sit an English language exam, there are plenty of great opportunities within the country's extensive network of colleges and universities. Positions generally pay in excess of 15,000 SAR, 4,000 US dollars per month, 
so competition for each job is usually very strong. Plenty of previous experience will almost certainly be required to secure a position in this area. Cost of living Saudi Arabia is one of the wealthiest countries in the Middle East and is therefore one of the more expensive to live in. However, as salaries are high and other expenses such as airfares and housing are generally paid for, most teachers are able to live very comfortably and are also able to save a considerable amount of their salary every month. How much can I earn teaching English in South Korea? South Korea is one of the most popular destinations for teaching English abroad. Thousands of new and experienced teachers head to the country every year as it offers competitive salaries and good working conditions. When you also consider that South Korea is one of Asia's wealthiest and most developed countries with low crime rates and a high-tech infrastructure, its popularity comes as no surprise. Salary The salary you can expect to earn while teaching English in South Korea will vary depending on where you work and your level of experience. The typical average monthly salaries are as follows. Public schools First-time teachers 1.8 to 2 million Korean won 1,600 to 1,800 US dollars Experienced teachers 2 to 2.7 million Korean won 1,800 to 2,400 US dollars Private schools First-time teachers 2 to 2.1 million Korean won 1,800 to 1,900 US dollars Experienced teachers 2.1 to 3 million Korean won 1,900 to 2,700 US dollars Benefits The majority of teachers also receive a range of extra benefits when they sign a contract with the school in South Korea Return airfares are typically paid for in advance or reimbursed on arrival. Accommodation is also generally provided in the form of a private, fully furnished apartment. All teachers are covered by the national health care system and, in most cases, will receive a bonus of an additional month's salary on completion of the contract. You will also enjoy plenty of free time as public school teachers are entitled to three weeks paid vacation and up to 18 national holidays per year. Those working in the private sector also receive the same national holidays and around two weeks vacation. Savings South Korea has a relatively low cost of living in comparison to many Western countries. The combination of a competitive salary and low outgoings means it is possible to save a considerable sum over the length of your contract. On average, an English language teacher in South Korea could expect to save somewhere in the region of 50% of their salary, which equates to around 800 to 1,200 US dollars per month. How much can I earn teaching English in Spain? Spain has been one of the top destinations in Europe for teaching English abroad for many years. In all the major cities, you will find plenty of opportunities to work with young learners in government-run public schools, as well as private language schools that cater to everyone from university students to high-flying business executives. Although the average salary of 700 to 1,800 euros per month is not high compared with some other popular destinations, the warm climate and laid-back lifestyle are enough to attract tens of thousands of teachers every year. As it is one of the most visited countries in the world, Spain has a huge tourism industry that has a continually high demand for English language teachers. There are hundreds of privately run language schools located across the country that hire year-round, as well as government-sponsored programs that place teachers into the public school system. The majority of positions can be found in larger cities, such as Madrid, Barcelona and Valencia. 
although opportunities can be found in virtually every city, town, and beach resort in the country. Salary The amount you can earn will vary considerably depending on your previous classroom experience, level of qualifications, the location you choose, and the type of employer. Salaries start at around 700 euros per month, rising to 1,800 for higher-end positions. Teachers who are paid by the hour can expect a rate of around 18 to 20 euros. The majority of teaching jobs in Spain do not include extra benefits that are common in many other popular destinations, such as paid airfare and accommodation. While the pay and benefits are less than you will find elsewhere, most teachers should be able to live a comfortable lifestyle during their stay in sunny Spain. Employers Every year, around 2,000 positions are available for Americans and Canadians to work as assistant language teachers within the public school system. The North American Language and Cultural Assistance Program is a government-sponsored scheme that offers a great way to experience living and working in a foreign country. Salaries range from 700 to 1,000 euros per month, depending on location. As the pay is quite modest by European standards, many teachers choose to top up their income by working as private language tutors in their spare time. Although placement programs are very popular, they only offer a relatively small number of positions each year. For a large percentage of teachers, the country's huge number of private language schools provides the most likely source of employment. Most private language schools prefer to hire from within the country and pay an hourly rate that ranges from 13 to 18 euros per hour. This equates to around 1,300 to 1,800 euros per month for a typical full-time position. Once again, it is common practice for teachers working in language schools to top up their income by taking on private students in their spare time. Working full-time as a private tutor is also common as you are free to set your own hours and are able to charge around 20 euros per hour. Cost of living The cost of living does vary considerably in different parts of the country. In many small towns and rural areas, it is possible to live comfortably for as little as 700 euros per month, while in Madrid, you would need as much as double that figure. In large cities and top tourist destinations, rent is generally the biggest expense, so it is common for teachers to share an apartment or rent a room in the home of a local family to reduce their costs. As salaries are not particularly high, you are unlikely to be able to save much of your earnings while teaching English in Spain. However, you should still earn enough to live comfortably and to enjoy all the attractions that Spain has to offer. most popular regions for teaching English abroad, with countries such as China, Japan and South Korea attracting tens of thousands of teachers every year. Also in their region, Taiwan is sometimes overlooked as a teaching destination due to its relatively small size in comparison to its neighbors. However, due to a strong demand throughout the country, Foreign teachers can reasonably expect to earn at least 2,000 US dollars per month even without any previous experience. With a highly developed infrastructure, a stable economy, plenty of job opportunities, high salaries and a relatively low cost of living, Taiwan has become an increasingly popular destination for teaching English abroad. Native English speakers with a TEFL certification should have little trouble finding a suitable position in a public school or privately run language academy. Teaching jobs can be found right across the country, but are most numerous in large cities such as Taipei, Kaohsiung, Taichung and Tainan. Salary There are several types of schools that employ foreign teachers in Taiwan all of which offer various salaries depending on your previous classroom experience and level of teaching qualifications. Many positions are paid on an hourly rate that starts at around 600 NTD, currently 20 US dollars, and can rise up to 1,300 NTD, 40 US dollars, for those with extensive experience. 
In addition to your salary, many teaching positions also include significant added benefits such as return airfares, paid accommodation, health insurance, and a bonus on completion of the contract. Employers For many first-time teachers in Taiwan, a network of privately run cram schools, known as Bushiban, offer a good entry point into teaching English abroad. Throughout the country, there are hundreds of schools, many part of large chains, that are keen to employ native English speakers for around 20 US dollars per hour. Typical working hours are four teaching hours per day, five days a week. There are also a large number of kindergartens throughout Taiwan that offer similar hours and pay. For teachers with previous experience, a more lucrative option is offered by foreign-run bushibans. Language schools in this category pay anywhere from 30 to 40 US dollars per hour plus bonuses. So competition for available positions can be fierce. Although the pay is considerably more than a standard language center, expectations are also much higher and a good understanding of Mandarin may be well expected. The public school system also offers plenty of opportunities for foreign teachers. Salaries range from around 60,000 to 70,000 NTD, currently 1,900 to 2,200 US dollars per month, with the majority of positions available at high school level. Working hours are often more than in private academies, as extensive lesson planning may be necessary. Foreign teachers are also expected to perform extra duties, so a typical working day can be from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The biggest salaries on offer for English language teachers in Taiwan can be found in international schools that generally follow an American-based curriculum. These positions are small in number and usually require a high level of teaching qualifications. Applications for available jobs are highly competitive as salaries can be as high as 200,000 NTD, over $6,000 per month. Cost of living A combination of high salaries and a low cost of living in comparison to many Western countries make it possible for foreign teachers to live a very comfortable lifestyle during their stay in Taiwan. Eating out at local establishments is very cheap, as is transport around the country. The biggest expense is likely to be rent, which can range from 5,000 NTD to 15,000 NTD per month for a shared apartment, depending on your location. However, many teachers will find that housing expenses are included in their contract, making it possible to save a considerable percentage of your salary every month. How much can I earn teaching English in Thailand? With a tropical climate, countless stunning islands, world-famous cuisine, and a welcoming culture, Thailand has long been a popular stop on the Southeast Asia backpacking trail. Due to a high demand, a significant number of visitors also stay on and teach English as a foreign language in schools and academies across the country. Depending on qualifications and experience, teachers can typically earn around 1,000 to 1,500 US dollars per month, which should be enough to live a comfortable lifestyle. Thailand has been a very popular destination for teaching English abroad for many years, and its popularity is unlikely to fade in the foreseeable future. A large number of teaching positions can always be found in the bustling capital Bangkok, while other popular spots such as the northern city of Chiang Mai, the tropical island of Phuket, and the colorful resort of Pattaya also have a significant demand for foreign teachers. Whether you are a first-time teacher looking for valuable classroom experience, or highly qualified and looking for a slower pace of life, Thailand could be the right choice for you. Salary Although the country's famously laid-back lifestyle attracts large numbers of foreign teachers, the average salary is generally less attractive when compared to other countries in the region. Teachers without experience can expect to earn around 1,000 US dollars per month, which should be enough to cover general living expenses but is unlikely to leave much in the way of savings. Teachers with a high level of qualifications and experience should fare a little better, with a potential salary of up to 1,500 US dollars per month. 
Unlike other Asian countries, including China, South Korea, and Japan, teaching positions rarely come with extra benefits, such as paid airfare and housing. Employers Government-run public schools offer a large number of teaching positions throughout the country, although they are restricted to native English speakers who possess a four-year degree from their home country. A TEFL certification is not an official requirement, However, it may increase your chances of getting a good job and negotiating a higher salary. Working hours are typically a 40-hour school week from Monday to Friday in a class that could number up to 50 students. Salaries range from 800 to 1000 US dollars per month. Privately run language academies are another big employer of foreign teachers in Thailand. Pay rates are often higher than public schools, but will depend on the location and your classroom experience. Working hours can vary greatly from around 18 to 25 per week, with classes often running during the evenings and at weekends. Class sizes will generally be no more than 10 per session. The majority of private academies pay by the hour, with an hourly rate ranging from $8 to $20. Depending on your hours and pay rate, your monthly income could be anywhere from 600 to 2000 US dollars. A third and potentially lucrative option is a private international school. Competition for these positions can be fierce, as salaries and extra benefits are often way above those offered by other employers. Working hours typically follow a standard school week from Monday to Friday with salaries ranging from 2000 to 3000 US dollars per month. Most positions in international schools will require extensive teaching experience and qualifications. Cost of living. The local cost of living does vary from one part of the country to another, with Bangkok averaging roughly 30% higher than elsewhere. If you choose to live and work in the capital, you should look for a minimum salary of $1,000 to $1,300 in order to live comfortably. You can get by on a smaller figure elsewhere, although this will greatly depend on your lifestyle. How much can I earn teaching English in the Czech Republic? The Czech Republic has seen a huge increase in demand for ESL teachers in recent years. And jobs are now abundant in many parts of the country, particularly in the bustling capital city of Prague. Typical salaries range from 700 to 1200 US dollars per month, depending on experience. The Czech Republic has been a popular destination for teaching English abroad for many years, as it offers a unique cultural experience, a low cost of living, and a very healthy job market. Prague is the most popular destination, boasting an eclectic mix of architecture and a fascinating history that draws huge numbers of tourists from around the world every year. The city also has one of the largest demands for ESL teachers in the whole of Europe. Cities such as Brno, Ostrava, Liberec and Pilsen, which is world famous as the birthplace of Pilsner beer, are also popular locations. Salary As there is a huge number of employers across the country offering a wide range of positions, the average salary can be anywhere from 18,000 to 30,000 corona currently 700 to 1200 US dollars per month. Many private language centers prefer to pay by the hour and it is common practice for teachers to work at more than one institute in order to make up a full-time schedule. Teachers working on an hourly rate can expect to earn around 200 to 300 corona, 8 to 12 US dollars per hour. Private tuition is also a common way for teachers to earn extra income outside of normal working hours. The rate for private lessons will usually depend on experience, but is typically from 300 to 500 corona, 12 to 20 dollars per hour. Employers. The most common form of employment for foreign teachers in the Czech Republic is through private language schools. Language schools generally cater to young learners of all ages who require extra English tuition outside of school hours, while some also run adult classes. Language schools can be found in most towns and cities throughout the country, with over a hundred located in Prague alone. Job applicants will usually require a degree in any subject, and a TEFL or TESOL certification is also generally expected. 
teachers with a passport from an EU country can typically turn up in the location of their choice and find a job relatively quickly. Non-EU citizens are recommended to secure a position from within their home country and then apply for a work visa through the school office on arrival. It is also possible to find teaching jobs in public primary and secondary schools, as well as some colleges and universities. These positions are relatively few in number in comparison to language schools, which means that the competition for each job is often quite strong. Previous experience is usually expected for public school positions, so many first-time teachers spend a year working for private language schools before applying. The peak hiring seasons for public schools are August and September and January and February. In contrast, jobs in private language schools can be found year-round. Cost of living. As well as a strong demand for teachers, the relatively low cost of living is another reason why the Czech Republic is a very popular destination for teaching English abroad. Routine expenses such as groceries and public transport are considerably cheaper than you will find in most of Western Europe and North America. Many teachers also reduce their overheads by renting a room in a shared apartment rather than living alone. A comfortable room in a good area starts at around 250 US dollars per month, while a private one-bedroom apartment starts from around 400 US dollars. How much can I earn teaching English in the United Arab Emirates? Located in the Middle East region, the United Arab Emirates has rapidly grown in popularity and is now one of the most sought-after destinations for teaching English abroad. Salaries can be as high as anywhere in the world, and with typically generous benefit packages, it is easy to see why the UAE attracts thousands of international teachers every year. Salaries are often tax-free and range from 2,500 to 5,500 US dollars per month, depending on the employer. The United Arab Emirates is a fascinating country as up to 90% of the population is comprised of expatriates from all over the world. This unique environment provides a great opportunity for teaching English abroad as demand is very high particularly in the major centers such as Dubai and Abu Dhabi. As the financial rewards are also famously high, competition for the best jobs can be particularly intense. Newly qualified teachers without classroom experience are unlikely to be successful, but those who do meet the criteria can expect to live very comfortably during their stay in the UAE. Salary there are a wide variety of employment options throughout the country, all of which offer very competitive salaries. Monthly rates start in the region of 9,000 AED, currently 2,500 US dollars, and rise to over 20,000 AED, 5,500 US dollars, for those with higher levels of qualifications and classroom experience. In addition, most teaching jobs will also include a benefit package that typically contains paid airfares, furnished accommodation, health insurance and a contract completion bonus. As salaries are usually tax-free, most teachers should be able to save a considerable percentage of their salary every month. Employers Qualified ESL teachers will find a variety of opportunities in language schools and vocational colleges across the country. Most positions will require a bachelor's degree, TEFL certification, and previous teaching experience. Salaries in private language schools vary, but usually range from 9,000 to 15,000 AED, 2,500 to 4,000 US dollars per month, while vocational colleges pay between 11,000 and 15,000 AED, 3 to 4,000 US dollars. Working hours in private language schools will depend on the clients and can often include evenings and weekends. In contrast, vocational colleges follow a more rigid pattern from 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Sunday to Thursday. Teachers who possess a teaching license will also be eligible to apply for positions in international schools and government-run public schools. International schools generally cater to children of expats and follow a specific curriculum such as British or Australian. 
Salaries range from 10,000 to 14,000 AED, 2,700 to 3,800 US dollars, with teaching hours from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Sunday to Thursday. Those working within the public school system can expect to work similar hours, however, salaries are typically higher and range from 12,000 to 20,000 AED, 3,500 to 5,500 US dollars per month. Cost of living As the UAE is one of the wealthiest nations in the region, the cost of living is relatively high compared with many of its neighbors. Housing costs are particularly expensive in popular areas of the main cities, ranging from $1,700 to $3,000 per month for a two-bedroom apartment. However, as most jobs include paid accommodation in the teacher's contract, this major expense is often avoided. Thanks to a high salary and extensive benefits, most teachers can live very comfortably and still save a considerable sum over the length of their contract. How much can I earn teaching English in Turkey? Known as a bridge between East and West, Turkey offers a fascinating destination for teaching English abroad. Although salaries are not high in comparison with many other countries, a relatively low cost of living means the average monthly salary of around 1000 US dollars should provide a comfortable lifestyle. As it is one of the few countries in the world that overlaps two different continents, Turkey has long been a popular destination for international travelers. Due to a steadily growing demand for the English language across much of the country, it is now also an increasingly popular destination for teaching English abroad. Job opportunities can be found in many parts of the country, but the big markets for ESL teachers are located in Istanbul, Ankara and Izmir. Technically, a degree in any subject is required for all teaching jobs, however, there are often not enough teachers to fill vacant positions, so a TEFL certificate is sufficient for many employers. Salary The monthly salary you can expect when teaching English as a foreign language in Turkey will vary from around 800 to 1,800 US dollars per month, depending on qualifications, experience, and the type of employer. Although the majority of first-time teachers will find themselves earning the lower end of this pay scale, it is common practice for teachers to top up this amount by taking on private students in their spare time. When offering your services as a private tutor, you are free to charge any amount you like, but a typical price would be around 15 to 20 US dollars per hour. Employers A large percentage of jobs for foreign teachers in Turkey are in language schools that can be found in most parts of the country. In cities such as Istanbul and Ankara, you will find hundreds of potential employers, but it is wise to do as much research as possible before accepting a job. Unfortunately, there are a few untrustworthy schools who will offer a great deal before you start work, but then fail to deliver on their promises once you enter the classroom. Researching online blogs, job sites, and teaching forums should help you to avoid these pitfalls. However, conducting your job search on the ground in Turkey rather than from within your own country is probably the most effective way of avoiding any problems. If you are keen to work with children and have some experience in this field, then you can apply for jobs in private middle schools and high schools. These positions offer a higher salary and more holiday than language centers, but you will probably require a degree, a TEFL certification, and at least two years experience. Those with high-end teaching qualifications and relevant experience may also find potential positions in private universities. Although few in number, these positions are highly sought after as they generally offer good working conditions. Although many teaching jobs in Turkey only pay a relatively small salary, there are plenty of opportunities for most teachers to significantly increase their income by offering private tutoring. By advertising and word of mouth, you might even build a large enough client base which allows you to go full-time in this field. By focusing solely on private tutoring, many teachers find they are able to bring in a significantly higher income than those working for a language school. Cost of living The cost of living in Turkey is still quite low in comparison to many Western countries, but it has risen significantly in recent years. 
Istanbul, in particular, has seen a sharp rise in apartment rental costs, so most teachers choose to share accommodation to keep their expenses down. Other outgoings, such as local food and public transport, are still relatively cheap. However, due to high import taxes, Western goods can be expensive. Away from Istanbul, you will find a significant drop in the cost of accommodation, which is one reason why cities such as Ankara and Izmir are becoming increasingly popular with foreign teachers. How much can I earn teaching English in Vietnam? Whether you are an experienced teacher or are looking for your first classroom position, Vietnam offers an abundance of jobs, a low cost of living, and a famously relaxed attitude to life. Depending on experience, you can expect to earn between 1,000 and 2,000 US dollars per month. Due to a government-backed scheme to improve English language proficiency across the country, Vietnam has seen a boom in ESL teaching jobs in recent years. As well as having plenty of teaching positions, Vietnam also offers a great mix of cosmopolitan cities, laid-back beach resorts, and lush tropical countryside. The relaxed way of life is another reason why an increasing number of teachers are deciding to move here, particularly those who are used to working in other Asian countries with a more strict approach to life and work, such as South Korea, China and Japan. With so much in its favor, it is no surprise that Vietnam is currently one of the fastest growing destinations in the world for teaching English abroad. Salary the average salary for ESL teachers in Vietnam is around 1,000 US dollars per month for a first-time teacher. Those with more experience and qualifications can expect to bring in up to 2,000 US dollars per month, depending on the employer. Other teachers choose to work on a freelance basis, which means they are paid an hourly rate rather than a steady salary. In these positions, pay rates range from 15 to 30 US dollars per hour. The vast majority of available jobs are located in the two big cities of Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, although you will find options in other towns and cities throughout the country. Employers Most ESL teachers working in Vietnam are employed by private language centers either on a full-time or part-time basis. Full-time positions usually include a one-year contract with regular hours, health insurance, holiday pay, help securing a work permit, and sometimes an end-of-contract bonus. In contrast, part-time positions generally pay cash in hand and offer little in the way of extra benefits. Despite this, part-time teaching jobs are still popular as they provide greater flexibility in terms of working hours. It is also common practice for teachers to have part-time contracts with several different language centers at one time. Language centers can be found in every city, particularly in Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi, where you will find a huge number of potential employers. A typical full-time contract involves around 20 teaching hours a week, plus 10 hours planning and administration time. Part-time positions are usually for 3 or 4 hours teaching per week. Many language centers run their classes during the evenings and weekends, so you might need to consider this if you like to have a busy social life. If you would prefer to set your own working hours, then you could consider working as a private tutor. It is common for teachers working in language centers to top up their salary by teaching private clients in their spare time, and many decide to go full-time once they have found enough students. One other option for ESL teaching in Vietnam is international schools. However, these are small in number and will normally require teaching experience and qualification. Cost of living Although the average salary for foreign teachers in Vietnam is lower than in some other Asian countries, the cost of living is very low, so you can expect to live a comfortable lifestyle and still save a considerable amount of your salary every month. A room in a good quality shared house costs between 150 and 250 US dollars per month, while local food is extremely cheap, averaging around $2 per meal. Your monthly outgoings will largely depend on the type of accommodation you choose, how much you travel, and how often you eat and drink at western set bars and restaurants, but a figure of 500 to 700 US dollars per month would be typical. Will I get health insurance when teaching English abroad? 
Wherever you are teaching in the world, having adequate health insurance is obviously a very important issue. Whether it is provided by the employer or is entirely your own responsibility varies from one situation to the next, so it is vital that you confirm health insurance details whenever you are interviewed for a teaching position. The following is a brief overview of health insurance around the ESL teaching world. Asia The Asian continent is home to some of the world's largest and most popular ESL job markets. Health insurance is typically provided for most teachers working in countries such as China, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Indonesia, and Vietnam. In many cases, health cover is provided free of charge, although you may have a small sum deducted from your monthly salary in some situations. Other than at schools with international status, health insurance is less likely to be provided in other countries in the region. Europe EU citizens teaching in other EU countries typically have access to the local healthcare system. Non-EU passport holders who are able to secure a work permit should also find that they are eligible for health insurance, normally through a monthly deduction from your paycheck. Another situation where health cover is generally provided is for those enrolled in government-run teaching assistant programs, such as those in France and Spain. For most non-EU citizens, work permits are notoriously hard to secure in many European countries. Because of this, thousands of ESL teachers in popular countries such as Italy and Spain find themselves working under the table. Although technically illegal, this is common practice and conducted openly. However, it does mean that you are responsible for your own health insurance. It is also worth noting that anyone applying for a student visa or working holiday visa for a European country will usually have to provide proof of adequate health insurance cover for the duration of their stay. The Middle East Health insurance is generally provided as part of a teacher's benefit package in most of the main markets in the region, including Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, and Kuwait. Latin America. As work permits are hard to secure in many countries across South and Central America, it is normal practice for ESL teachers to be employed without being officially registered for tax purposes, etc. Because of this, most teachers across the region are responsible for their own health insurance cover. Exceptions can be found in countries such as Chile and Mexico, where work visas and official contracts are more common. Purchasing health insurance. There are plenty of health insurance providers out there, so it is highly recommended that you conduct in-depth research to ensure you get the best deal. When considering your options, remember that you're looking for long-term international insurance that is generally far cheaper than the daily rate for holiday insurance or domestic health insurance policies. As a guide, you should budget around 50 US dollars per month although you may find cheaper policies that provide sufficient cover. For those whose contracts include health cover, it is still worth considering additional international coverage, particularly if you plan to travel outside of the country where you are working, as this may not be covered.